Sorry, you want to ask a question? Like, yeah. Do you think that you love, you, do you think you're in Islam out of fear or love? Like fear of the creator or love for the creator? No, Islam is based upon love and fear and hope. Justice. I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I fear his punishment. And I hope that he will forgive me and enter me to paradise. See, for me, I get worried that maybe my intention is out of a selfish way because I want to make sure that I'm protected. But like, it worries me that I will go... Because you know if, uh, if a Muslim leaves Islam, yeah. it's worse than somebody who is atheist. Is that right? So yeah. I get because I'm yeah. like, oh, maybe I'm going to reject it and then I'm going to be the one that's actually worse off than an atheist. Yeah, but you know, sister, look what I have to understand. I was speaking to many people come to me said, not many people, some people say, why Allah is going to punish people in the hellfire? I said, no, the question should not be this, why Allah is going to punish people in the hellfire? You should ask the people, all people, why you want to go to hellfire? That's the question should be. Because if you, like for example, one person came to me, he said to me, um, yes, it was, a, it was a, a, a guy in the Sheriff's Bush, he said, Akhi, he, said, Akhi, he said, brother, why Allah is going to punish us forever? I said, you believe that? He said, yes. I said, so save yourself. If you don't believe that, so the problem is not going to punish us or not. The problem is not even believe in God. So it will be a different topic, you understand? That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us. You know, even how Allah mentioned how he's going to punish us in details in the Quran, the scholars mentioned that is a mercy from Allah to show us that his anger is severe and punishment. So if you know that, turn away from it. But Allah knows you're weak. So if you're a Muslim and you do evil acts, better than a non-Muslim. Why? First, how? Because the biggest and the worst evil act of worship when you turn away completely from your God. You know? Because like I said, your own existence by its own virtue. While we're speaking, we are benefiting from everything. Our eyes, from, our, from the air, from the oxygen. If you go to hospital, you'll be charged for the oxygen. You know then? They, ch they charge you. Allah has given it to you for free. Everything's for free. You know, Allah's blessing. Look at that, you know? But you choose to turn away from it, except it goes back to arrogance. You understand? So don't let the shit, because remember, sister, we have to understand. It's good to fear for yourself and to check your intention. Even me teaching in front of the people, I fear for my intention. That's, that's how the Muslim should be. You have some a, a, a Muslim characteristic, no doubt. But also, Satan can use that thing against you. For example, in Islam, we know Allah will to show off. So sometimes maybe you're praying in the mosque and someone's sitting down and you are praying. Satan will come, will come to you, so I pray quick, pray quick, because you're showing off. The scholars mention, no, prolong it more longer. That's how, you're, that's how you defeat Satan. Because Satan, remember Satan's been around, I don't, I don't know how many years, but he's very experienced. He's, he's very experienced. He knows how to get into every individual. What was made first the, uh, I don't know if this is a stupid question, but hell. No, 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 ask, you know. If I know, I know. If I don't know, I don't know. Uh, is, was hell created first or, or was hell created for shaitan? Was uh, heaven just the place before people were being like, like people were on the path and then shaitan came in and... No, hell was created before. Was before that. Yeah, before. When Allah created the hellfire, then Allah, because even in Islamic, we believe there were people before us. Some scholars mentioned there were jinn. Remember in Surah Al-Baqarah, the angel said to the uh, to Allah, why are you going to create people that are going to cause mischief upon the earth? The scholars mentioned because there were people doing that. Some scholars mentioned there were jinn, but some scholars mentioned could be different creation. Allah knows best, you know? So Allah created the hellfire and created paradise. At the well, same time? I don't know which one's first. I don't know if someone knows can teach me. Uh, uh? It's not made clear to us. Yeah, that's what I know. So when he created paradise, he said to the angel Gabriel, go look at it. He went, he said, oh Allah, Every person you're going to create is going to come here. Then he created the Avic Palace first, you know, if I do remember. Then he came, go to the hellfire. Then he went to the hellfire, he said, no one's going to come inside. Then Allah surrounded paradise with that which we dislike, but in reality is good for us. And he said, go and look at it now. He went and he said, I don't think no one's going to come inside to paradise. He said, go look at the hellfire. Allah surrounded with that which attempts us. And Gabriel said, everyone's going to come inside. Then Allah said, as for paradise, is a place of my mercy. As for the hellfire, is a place of my anger. You know, many people say, why there is evil here? Why? Allah is the most wise, the most just. Allah create a place of pure good. Some people, they, would, they want paradise on this life. No, that go and guess Allah's wisdom. 
Allah create paradise, which is pure good. Allah create the hellfire, which is pure evil. Then Allah create this life, evil and good, and create us. So it's upon us, if we really want good, choose the way to lead you to good. But if you want evil, choose the way to lead you to evil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Inna hadaynahu sabila, imma shakiran wa imma kafura. We guide him, we show him the, the two paths, the evil path and the, 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 the good path. But it's up to him, you know? So Allah is the most wise. That's so, why Allah says we are the best of creations because Allah has given us our own conscience to make that decision. Whereas creations like the angels, they were only created to worship Allah. That's all they know. So when Allah created Adam, the angels asked, why did you make this creation when, like he said, the creations before created mischief upon the earth? Allah says, you know, I know of which you do not know. Yeah. And he presented amongst the angels items or objects. Again, it's not clear. And he said to the angels, name these things. The angels said, oh, but we don't know. You only taught us of what we know already, and we seek more on what you tell us. Then he asked Adam alayhi salam, can you name these things? And Adam alayhi salam named all of them. And he goes, see, you, I know what you do not know. And that's when the angel prostrated, not out of worship to Allah but out of respect when Allah ordered the angels to prostrate no, it's to Adam. Out, no, it's out of worship of Allah to Allah, to Allah but Allah out of respect, respect to Adam. Adam yes. So it's out of worship. From our, so of course, so, why they do it, yeah. Yeah, so that's why we are the best of creations, because we have our own conscience to make our decisions of good and right at the end of the day. And we have to remember, this life is only... I don't know about the best of creation, because, well, because you know, the, the, some say uh, the angels, but the some angels said that we are because of the prophets and messengers. But, but Allah yeah. knows best. Some scholars said there's no point saying we are the best or the best. But so it's kind of, 